could you please tell me any uh, five or maybe three specialities of your college when i had the choice of selecting a college i would tell why i chose mit as well you are very good at all the technical skills but the java part is missing and as you asked me that i do not know java and that is a basic uh, language used in most of the companies so my first and foremost goal would be to learn java in such a way that i am able to utilize my skills in the company and i can be an asset to a company rather than a burden Hello Priya a very good afternoon how are you Good afternoon sir I'm good thank you Okay could you please tell me something about yourself and your family background Yes sir sure uh, I am Priya Gar currently pursuing my BTech in computer science from Madhav Institute of Technology and Science Gwalior with an aggregate CGP of 8.6 Although I'm currently staying in Gwalior due to college purposes I belong to Jabalpur my father is a government employee working in GCF I also have an elder sibling my sister she is pursuing her mbbs and she is in her final year and my mom is a housewife i completed okay. my 10th from nilgiri tamil nadu and i completed my 12th from jabalpur gavi i have a keen interest in dbms oops python and sql and i have also done some projects on machine learning and react My first project was of a phishing website detection that was based on machine learning model and my second project was that of an e-commerce website that was built using react Apart from this I've also done an internship in Pilcare Services LLP that was based on WordPress where I was given client website and I had to work on the front end of that and also SEO also known as search engine optimization Also I ha- I've done a fundraising internship in one of the leading NGO- NGOs of India Muskurahat Foundation In my leisure time I love watching anime and my hobbies also include cooking singing and traveling That's all about me sir thank you for giving me the opportunity Okay uh, Priya could you please elaborate uh, more about your you know interpersonal skills soft skills non technical skills basically Yes sir my uh, friends uh, consider me a uh, good team leader like they come to me for advice if they cannot do some things in life i al- i'm also good at decision making some people also tell me that i am good at motivating them when they feel low or the, if they have a low self esteem i am good in motivating them so and i'm a quick learner okay uh, moving ahead um, priya I just want to uh, know that uh, you are comfortable with C plus plus, Python, SQL, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, React, yes. machine learning, artificial intelligence, and IoT. Okay. So, uh, what are constructors in C plus plus? So, constructors are when a class is created, the memory is not instantiated to the class, but the memory is only instantiated when an object is created, and that memory is given to the object using a constructor. whenever an object is uh, called the constructor gets instantiated and uh, it provides the memory to the object there are basically two types of constructor parameterized constructor and default constructor parameterized constructors are the constructors that take parameters along with the object and the uh, default constructors are the constructors that do not take any parameters but uh, because we need the memory for the object constructors are important also to free this memory space destructors are used in c++ okay uh, could you please tell me something about copy constructor uh, copy constructor sir yeah so copy constructor is uh, used to, to copy uh, the memory value into the constructor sir memory value of object into constructor syntax of copy constructor uh, using the copy keyword sir Okay, great. And constructors have same name as class. So I forgot to mention that. Okay, why so? Sir, it is easy to uh, instantiate the memory to the object. I am not sure of that. Okay, tell me something about virtual functions. So virtual functions are functions that are declared in the base class, but are defined in the uh, uh, what to say uh, inherited class. The uh, virtual functions are overridden functions. that are used in abstract class the definition of the function is provided in uh, the inherited class okay what is abstract class and inherited class basically means <coughs> uh, so abstract class is a class that is basically used as a sub class and uh, it has pure virtual function where virtual function is 
instantiated to zero. Abstract class is that class. So an inherited class is the class that has same values as the base class. If we want some functions to be used in inherited class, uh, we don't have to define that in okay. uh, base class. Any in difference between class. any difference between abstract class and pure virtual function? So abstract class is the class that contains pure virtual function. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is uh, break, continue, and pass in Python? Break, continue, and pass. Uh, so break uh, breaks the loop. If we use a break statement in inside a code, it breaks the loop, and the uh, program uh, continues after the loop. If I have written a state return statement after break statement, then the return statement would be executed. After, uh, if I have written anything after break statement inside the loop, that part won't be executed, that part of the code. And uh, for uh, continuous statement, the loop variable starts from the beginning. I mean, value is incremented and the loop starts from the beginning again, sir. And uh, pass passes the control to the next line. Okay, are you sure about pass? Uh, no, sir, I'm a bit confused about that. Okay, what is slicing in Python? So slicing in Python, uh, suppose we have an array of 10 numbers and if we if I want to access the array from second number to the end. So here okay. slicing is used to display those numbers. So the syntax would be array name and in bracket I would write uh, index to up to n. If I, I don't mention that up to n and if I leave blank at the end, uh, that would mean that it would execute up to n. And uh, we can also use three uh, three variables in slicing. First would be the start, second would be the end, and third will be the number of steps. How many okay. steps do we want? Okay, what is scope resolution in Python? Scope resolution, sir, uh, it uh, defines the scope of variables. Whether uh, the variable will be uh, only executed inside the function or whether it will be executed throughout the program, like global variable and local variables. Okay. You have done a uh, certification, NPTEL Elite certification in the introduction to IoT, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so what are the fundamental components of IoT? So, I do not have the idea of it. Okay, what is the difference between IoT and IIoT? Internet of Things and Industrial Internet of Things. So, I have IoT protocol stack, any knowledge? Okay, advantages of IoT. So I actually haven't read that IoT part. But NPTEL certification is something very big. You cannot get it easily. Uh, right? Yes. You have to pass a proper exam for that. So if you do not know these basic things, how have you passed the exam? Okay, forget about it. Uh, what is the difference between delete, truncate, alter and drop command? So delete command... Uh, is used to delete a particular row in a table. We can use WHERE clause and delete a particular row in a table. And if we want to delete all the rows, we can use asterisk sign in delete and delete all the rows. Delete command can be rolled back. If we want to roll back the command, delete can be rolled back. About truncate, truncate is used to delete and all the rows of the table, but the structure of the table remains. And the truncate command cannot be rolled back. So third command drop command that is used to delete the entire table including the rows and the structure and also it cannot be rolled back alter table command is used to alter the rows in table if you want to change a value of a row or add a new row we can use alter command okay uh, what are the advantages and limitations of css so advantages is it gives a proper structure to your uh, program i mean front end of the code uh, you can uh, divide elements in your website and uh, make them look better using CSS. The disadvantages is that it increases the line of code. And uh, like if we use simple CSS and if we do not use bootstrap with CSS, dividing the columns would have been much more of uh, what to say. It would be so hard to divide the columns up only using CSS because uh, we have to uh, write the style in each and every line how we want to divide the columns sir. so that would uh, be a burden for programmers okay what are the different types of selectors in css 
selectors sir yeah so i couldn't recall this okay and uh, default bootstrap text setting md5 okay and uh, what is basically the bootstrap grid system so uh, it is divided in 12 grids and uh, we can uh, select uh, whether we have if we if i write md3 in that it would be divided into three columns with four grids each so this way i can divide the pages if i want four elements in my page i would use md4 that would divide my page into four columns with three grids each grid is basically for dividing column and row structure in the front end of your website okay how many types of headings are there in html so six types of headings okay for what tr and td tags are used in html tr is used for table row sir and uh, td is used for table column okay and uh, t body tag so t body tag is basically that tag if i have a body in html but uh, uh, by mistake i have entered text instead of table so to avoid the overview of entering each columns in a table i can use the t body tag to convert the entire body into a tabular form okay great what are, what is anchor keyword in you know html anchor keyword i have used it so but i cannot recall the usage of hyper text reference so if i i insert a link in my program there anchor keyword is used a href the syntax for that is a href and there i put the link of the program okay the what is uh, overfitting in machine learning and artificial intelligence so overfitting uh, suppose i have a data and i have used 70% for training and 30% for testing the data that has been used for training uh, has learned the machine learning too well that it has 100% of accuracy but when i test that data the values are deviating because uh, the uh, what exceptions in the training data were taken as concept by the machine learning model and it wasn't able to differentiate when the test data was given such problem is called overfitting sir okay um, could you please tell me how can we remove duplicate elements from an array a uh, duplicate elements removal sir yeah. so we can i mean what convert it into a set set element okay we can remove it that way sir in c++ uh, in c++ sir so okay. i am coding in python okay Uh, how can we, you know, find the frequency of each element in an array? Okay. So to find the frequency, if uh, the array size is small, then uh, order of n approach would be I can take two variables i and j and traverse through the whole array, and if i is equal to j, I can print that. That will be order of n approach, but that cannot be used for larger value array. So to you uh, use for larger values, I can. Uh, converted into hash map or also dictionary in python and uh, that way i can uh, get the values and frequencies of each element okay um, i want the logic for the prime number program so prime number program uh, first of all uh, we'll just uh, take a flag variable that will be equal to 0 and uh, then we'll uh, traverse uh, first we will put the base condition that if the number is equal n is equal to equal to 1 it is not neither prime nor consecutive and uh, then we will traverse a for loop from 2 to n by 2 plus 1 and uh, then we will uh, see if for i n mod i equal to equal to 0 that the value of i divides the number then it is not prime because prime is a number that divides itself and only one can divide it so the flag variable will be set to 1 and then we will check if flag value variable is equal to 1 then it is not prime and if flag is equal to 0 then it is prime numbers okay great great um just one more thing i want to ask like uh, you belong to mits gwalior if i am not wrong right yes, sir. Uh, could you please tell me any uh, five or maybe three specialities of your college so no when i had the choice of selecting a college i would tell why i chose mits gwalior 
I could have chosen JEC that was very near to my house but uh, the placement cell of MITS is good it brings companies to the college and uh, uh, MITS has various facilities like club facilities where students can check for their talent they can come in front of others they can talk to others first speciality was the placement second was this open atmosphere and uh, third was uh, the infrastructure and what to say the college is ha- very old sir and it has very great alumni from college so okay. that was uh, being a mits student your any any contribution which you feel like uh, see we are a computer science engineer student yes, and you will be working in it hub you will be learning a lots and lots of things so one day you'll become alumni of your college so being a it engineer what you think can be the improvement in the it cell of your college and how are you going to you know work on them it cell of college so yeah. uh, sir to be honest like if i talk about the attendance of college it's actually very low after covid the students are not willing to come to college even if the teacher is there the teacher enters the class and he sees that only four students are present but as the attendance is taken through moodle in online mode uh, approximately whole class marks the attendance so first thing that i would uh, like to add in that is in, to stop the burden of teachers i would like to install smart attendance systems uh, be it fingerprint scanner or something which the student while entering the college and while leaving the college that would be mandatory for them to scan their fingerprint and then leave the college or enter the premises this way the attendance would be maintained in a easier way and the students who bunk the college in mid can be tracked easily so so this this would increase the attendance in college and also would be a good thing okay uh, i just want a bit more detail about your projects which you have done right yes. so so uh, like i told you about my project it was about phishing website detection uh, phishing website are the websites in which uh, the front users or the hacker poses to be a trustworthy uh, person and sends a link malicious link and in which the user clicks the link and gets tricked into uh, being logged or sharing their credit card credentials or important information that wasn't to be shared so these things were increasing in uh, covid and uh, i just thought why not implement a machine learning model about this so i just searched for the dataset in kaggle and i got a dataset with uh, approximately more than 5 lakh values it had two columns namely url and label the labels were of good and bad and uh, approximately 5 uh, lakh values it did not have any null values so the first thing that i did was i checked for null values and i got zero as the answer second thing to recognize the uh, url i tokenized the values using regular expression tokenizer and the tokenize function after tokenizing i stemmed the values of url to get their root word a word that is there in every url so i got those root words from url and after stemming those values i converted them into vector values using count vectorizer function so that i could uh, deploy a machine learning model in that so after all this i had deployed two machine learning models namely lo- logistic regression and multinomial mv logistic regression had an accuracy of 97% and uh, multinomial mv had a less uh, l- uh, accuracy that was of 95% so logistic regression was a better better model and in order to Uh, show this as a web application i also used pickle and fast api to implement my model in the form of a web application so where the uh, the label is given i can uh, enter the name of website and if we uh, click on the predict button it shows that it is a phishing website or not okay uh, uh, priya i just want to know that uh, you might be aware that java programming language is used by most of the companies Uh, right now so you are very good at all the technical skills but the java part is missing yes sir. why so uh, sir uh, uh, to be honest uh, i never thought of learning java when at first i i was a computer science student from 11th and 12th so to uh, i learned c++ there and when i entered college i just saw a fast 
thing in python uh, python is a vast language you can use django with that ml ai that is tomorrow's future that could be done using python so i choose chose python as my language and i never thought of going to the mobile development sides side but now when i think of it i am sure that me being a quick learner i would be able to learn java if i was given the correct resources for that and correct environment that would be mostly provided by the company so okay one more thing uh, being a it engineer being a software engineer what contribution can you give to the city where you have resided for approximately 4 years that is your college city i think it's gwalior right yes, sir, yeah gwalior. so actually uh, i have resided in gwalior and i have seen that uh, gwalior as a whole is a good city but uh, it has no infrastructure for rain like if there is rain in gwalior entire city feels like flooded even if there is uh, one hour rain and uh, in future if the rainfall increases gwalior has high chances of uh, uh, the house being flooded with water so i would like to implement i some it technology in that due to which the infrastructure can be changed in the city so so that the houses don't get flooded during rains and even the roads get flooded so so i would like to change that okay uh, priya uh, you have while filling the mock interview form you have filled that you want to conduct a interview for tcs and lti Yes, so uh, why do you want to join these companies and not other similar companies uh so mm-hmm. actually uh, as we all know that recession is going on global recession is taking place in entire world mm-hmm. there are uh, very less projects in hand of leading it companies and due to which uh, they are just uh, terminating their employees be it temporarily or permanently but seeing tcs in today's world its job is as secure as a government job tcs takes care of their employees very well and does not leave them even in such hard times be it covid or be it global recession sir so tcs would be a great company to join for if i am looking for a job security okay what is the tagline of tcs sir so, tagline of tcs so, i'm not sure let's build together that's okay. um any recent uh, you know um, achievements which tcs has acquired uh, yes sir tata company has uh, got air india under them and uh, okay. air india has come back home to tata because uh, jrd tata sir was the first person to build air india and uh, it was given to the government but after so long years when the government wasn't able to handle the prof- uh, loss of air india it has come back home to Uh, Tata, so so that is the greatest achievement for Tata. Okay, okay. Uh, contribution of TCS in uh, railway sector. Any contribution, if you remember of? So Tesco was started by Ta- uh, Tata. Tata. I asked TTC website. You might have heard of for online ticketing. Yes, sir. It's it's being developed and maintained by TCS only. Okay. So okay. I wasn't uh, sure. Okay. Uh, recently, one of the chairman of Tata Group, you know, uh, met an accident. Uh, yes, what sir. was the name of uh, the Cyrus person? Cyrus Mistry, sir. Okay. He great. Met with a fatal accident. Priya, uh, where do you see yourself ten years from now? What are your long-term goals? Uh, so I have uh, both professional and personal goals ten years from now. I would like to see uh, myself as a project lead in one of the leading companies like. TCS. Uh, also, I would uh, like, like to go for TCS or TCS. So, uh, one of the leading companies like TCS. Uh, be I would like to be a long-term employee of TCS because of its job security. So, I would uh, like to see myself as a project lead in TCS, uh, training many new freshers, and also handling like uh, international projects. That way, I could pursue my hobby of traveling and. Uh, my personal goals are that i want to earn some money and contribute towards the society be it the children who are in street i just don't want to provide them free food but my goal is to provide them a source of education that way that they don't have to be in street like they are now when they grow up so that's my personal goals okay 
priya a honest weakness i want to know not i i don't want you to portray your strength as a weakness as most of the students does i want a honest weakness of yours which you think can be a reason for my rejection and what you are doing to improve that so my honest weakness is that when i code when i do this uh, website thing and if i don't get the proper output i take a break in between and i just continuously keep thinking about that until i uh, get the result some days i uh, take a day or two to get come to the output so so the time in between this one or two days is being wasted in between so that is my honest weakness and in order to improve this i would like to work on more projects by myself on individual projects and i'm sure that once i join the company if i make it to this interview uh, there i would be taught the skill of how to how not to give up this is not giving up but basically i just leave the task for one or two days until i get the error so i would like to improve that by working more upon it sir okay priya why do you choose engineering and basically computer science and why do you want to pursue a job in it sector despite your father is a government servant serving the nation so yes, why do you want to join the private industry sir uh, it industry is one of the greatest growing industry in today's world like uh, we have computer in our hand we have phone in our hand it's because of the development of it sector in coming in future ai ml and it sector would be greatest all our homes will be ai powered like alexa we are using today and every basic like we say from pin to ship that would be handled by it industry so so i just wanted to be a part of this industry and uh, i wanted to help in the growth of entire globe not only my country but entire globe and that is possible by being in such a sector such as it company so so i just wanted to be a uh, part of a uh, private institution that okay. contributes towards the uh, growth of globe okay uh, priya as per your resume you have you know many rewards and recognitions as well as some extra curricular activities yes, so sir. could you please elaborate few of them uh, yes so uh, rewards and recognition as i told you that my hobby was singing so i was in a school choir group and our choir was uh, uh, called by all india radio to sing for them so and it was aired and the uh, second thing we also won a regional prize in a uh, group song competition and uh, third thing uh, which i think is a great achievement for me was we had national youth parliament in uh, 27th national youth parliament in the year 2015 and i was a part of that and uh, i backed second position and i was aw- awarded by the mla of tamil nadu so i got a chance to explore and stay in the campus of iit madras and uh, that was a great thing so also i led a team of four students in national children science congress of my school and i also represented my whole team and my project on behalf of my school in front of the panelists so they were scientists from uh, isro okay uh, you also mentioned that you were the campus ambassador of coding ninjas for your college campus yes, so sir. basically what role you were supposed to play in that uh, so being a campus ambassador in coding ninja my first role was to spread awareness about coding ninjas that there is a company uh, who uh, which sells courses related to it it also has a free coding platform known as code studio we can practice there and uh, basically my task was to make other students aware of uh, the programs that are being conducted in coding ninjas various seminars scholarship tests for their courses and about their courses so. okay great great uh, is this your first interview priya yes that's this is my first interview. okay so suppose a company comes and offers you a higher package than uh, our company and uh, their work culture also remains the same and everything remains the same so what would you do in such a circumstances so i would join tcs why so so first thing because i told you that uh, it has a very good job security it is not leaving its employees plus it also has a very good work life balance culture so in tcs and uh, i have also uh, read about tcs that in future if uh, uh 
if i have a family and if i want leave due to some uh, what to say some situation in family uh, tcs has a better understanding than other it companies so i would join tcs sir, because it understands its employees well okay uh, priya suppose after 5 years in a company you are the lead you are you are the tech lead of a project right yes, so uh, the project requires intense coding skills okay so you have to you know you have already selected your team now one more vacancy is left you have to make a choice between two people one is a fresher with excellent coding skills but he is new he, it's his first project he don't know how to you know manage uh, the situations of emergency and all and the second one is the experienced candidate who has been working with us since last 17 years but he is not very good at coding but during your tough time he can be a great asset to your team and your project right he knows how to deal with clients he knows how to talk to them and all those stuff but the coding part is lacking so uh, whom would you going to choose and why so i would go with the fresher candidate who has good coding skills in my opinion like you said that the experienced person would be able to help us in our tough times but we will reach our tough times only when we are able to code the program and our immediate requirement is for a coder and if i just give the chance to the experienced person this way freshers won't be able to bag their opportunity in company but and this is just a just a matter of few days just a matter of one project i am not telling about the whole lifetime yes, okay and and secondly whatever you are doing in the company you are doing it for your clients okay so if your client is not happy your skills are in vain yes sir okay so don't you think the experienced candidate will be of much use because he knows how to deal with clients he has already been with several projects in his you know uh, career uh, no sir i would uh, go still go with the coder person because uh, i already have a team of handful of people and if those people were able to do the coding skills i wouldn't have been requiring a coder the we are i since i am a project lead in this situation even i would know how to deal candidates there so uh, how to deal clients in when a real life situation comes but if i am not strong in the coding part i wouldn't be able to move forward with the project sir so i would just hire the coder okay even if he is not experienced okay uh, so you have hired the pro coder okay he is the pro coder the best coder in your team the best coder in the entire tcs campus wherever you are okay but the problem with this guy is he is excellent you can't let go of him he is a great asset to your team but the problem is he misbehaves with people he does not know how to talk to people he does not know how to follow office culture he just work at at his own time he doesn't listen to you now what all actions are you going to take as a team lead see so being first, a team lead does not require only that you should be good at coding and everything this is just a part of it but being a team lead requires that you should have those leadership capabilities so i just want to check like how you will react to the situation so there will be two solutions that i would like to give for this first of all i would have one to one conversation with him and ask what problems is he facing in uh, this campus and i would uh, just give him a slight warning that if he would like to change his behavior towards office culture he can and if he still doesn't change sir i would like to offer him a work from home opportunity that uh, if he likes to work on his own time according to his own uh, situation according to his own terms he can use the work from home opportunity that is provided by tcs as we cannot let go of him sir So I but would just ask but him to work don't you home. think this will trigger other candidates to behave the same so that they to get work from home opportunity? Ah, uh, sir, if other candidates uh, do the same way, they would be given a warning, sir. And uh, uh, first thing, it would not be a permanent work from home for him. It would be on a provision basis, like be two months or three months, so that he learns. And at that time. i would not leave him during the office hours i would obviously give the time and i would tell him that end of the day i want this submission so he wouldn't have been left with any choice he have to do only during the office hours that way he would inculcate a habit of working during the office hours and follow the office culture sir and after two months of period i would bring him back to the office so that others don't get the wrong idea of uh, misbehaving the same way and getting work from home sir okay uh, priya uh... 
after interview you'll be getting approx 6 to 9 months of time after that only your joining will be coming so how you are going to utilize this time so as i told you and as you asked me that i do not know java and that is a basic uh, language used in most of the companies so my first and foremost goal would be to learn java in such a way that i am able to utilize my skills in the company and i can be an asset to a company rather than a burden so i would uh, like to learn java and uh, secondly i also have some goals or i would uh, look for an internship and uh, in uh, upcoming 6 months i have a personal goal of buying a bullet for my father sir so i would like to fulfill that personal goal and uh, third thing after i am done with these two things i would like to go on a family trip with my family so because i do not know in which location i'll be working after this and i do not know when will be have a period where all of us are together so Okay, uh, Priya. Suppose after working eight hours a day, you have a zeal to work more. Okay, and suppose uh, you are doing some part-time work. Now the condition is you cannot do a work which is related to IT or studies. Okay, and you also want to uh, earn some money out of those part-time work. So what work would you prefer? Sir, I would uh, prefer music. Okay. I would prefer oh. music as my part-time work because, like I told you, I. Also have a knowledge of classical singing, so I, I used to go to music classes when I was young. So uh, also I would like to learn guitar before that, and I would like to take lessons on music. So, okay. That's my hobby. Okay, okay, Priya. Uh, why uh, why don't you you have excellent skills? So why don't you want to pursue M Tech, PhD, or MS from foreign and you know go for higher studies? Uh, so to be honest, like. Uh, Almost it's been fourteen to fifteen years me being a student and just studying. I'm just having the theoretical knowledge till now. I haven't worked on anything practical or haven't joined any company so far. So I would like to implement those theoretical knowledge of all these years, and I would not like to study further immediately, sir, because working average, in an IIT. Average package of a IIT is fifteen to twenty lakhs. Okay, yes, and in IIT also you get lots and lots of practical exposure. So why not do M Tech and prefer IT? You know, practice get practical exposure in your M Tech and get a you know bigger package. Uh, so because like I told you that uh, I have been studying theory for a long time. I just want to join uh, an IT company immediately. Yes, of course, I IIT offers much higher package than what I am getting now. But I am sure by the time a person completes his M Tech and gets the fifteen lakh package with my skills, I would reach the same package by the time he studies and comes to the same company. So, so I am uh, confident about myself, and I would like to work uh, gain two years of working experience rather than two years of studying. Okay. Anything which you want to ask to us? Uh, yes, sir. I would like to ask that. How can I see my development in this role, sir? That we cannot decide that in a short interview of thirty-five minutes. It's it's a gradual training process. Uh, we do training for the same so that we are able to understand uh, what are your strengths, what are your skills, and accordingly we can decide which role suits you the most and how can you develop in that particular path and contribute for your self growth as well as organization's growth. Uh, uh, just last question. If you if you have been given a chance, we have centers across you know India. So if you have been given a chance to choose north, south, east, west, or the center of India, yes, uh, what would you choose and why? Uh, sir, I would uh, choose the western part of okay. India uh, because uh, if I talk about traveling, I have been to most of the northern India, be it Kashmir, Delhi, Punjab, and I have had my entire childhood of seventeen years. Residing in South India, so I've also been to major places of South India. The only places that I haven't explored are the East and the West. And I would uh, like to go to the Western part of India because uh, it has places like Mumbai, and uh, that is a hub of everything. I would like to visit Mumbai for once in my lifetime. So, and staying in Mumbai or Pune is like a dream come true for me. Okay. Okay, it was nice interacting with you, Priya. Your result will be communicated shortly via email. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Okay, Priya. Uh, how was the experience? You can take a deep breath. You can relax. Sir, so, uh, 
फर्स्ट थिंग इस इंटरव्यू से मुझे ये चीज पता चली कि मतलब आईओटी और सीएसएस वगैरह जो लिखा हुआ है उसको थोड़ा ध्यान से पढ़ना है क्योंकि आईओटी मैंने सर्टिफिकेट सर्टिफिकेशन जब किया था वो लास्ट सेम में था सब वो वाला कोर्स एंड टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई क्लियर दैट एग्जाम यूजिंग ऑल दी असाइनमेंट आई जस्ट स्टडीड द असाइनमेंट क्वेश्चन एंड दैट वे आई वॉज एबल टू क्लियर द एग्जाम बट आई डो नॉट है इन डेप्थ नॉलेज अबाउट आईओटी सो फर्स्ट थिंग मुझे जो रियलाइज हुई आपने आईओटी के बारे में क्वेश्चन पूछा तो उससे रियलाइज हुआ कि सामने वाले जो इंटरव्यूअर होंगे वो भी उस चीज को देख के पूछ सकते हैं एंड दैट वुड बी माई पार्ट फॉर रिजेक्शन बिकॉज दे वुड थिंक दैट आई एम लाइंग इन माई रेज्यूमे आपने जो सीटिंग अरेजमेंट पढ़ाया था सारे क्वेश्चन उसी से थे फर्स्ट सेकेंड थिंग आई टुक द मॉक इंटरव्यू बिकॉज एक्सेंचर का जो इंटरव्यू था वो प्योरली एच आर बेस्ड था एंड उन्होंने टेक्निकल कुछ भी नहीं पूछा उसमें सो आई वॉन्टेड टू टेस्ट माई टेक्निकल नॉलेज इससे पहले आई हैड एन इंटरव्यू फॉर परसिस्टेंट एंड उन्होंने मुझसे जावा के क्वेश्चन पूछे थे सर और जावा मुझसे आती नहीं है तो उन्होंने मोस्टली जावा के क्वेश्चन पूछे और उसकी वजह से मेरा कॉन्फिडेंस बहुत नीचे चला गया था टेक्निकल लेवल का तो वो कॉन्फिडेंस बूस्ट अप करने के लिए मैंने मॉक इंटरव्यू में एनरोल करा था एंड आई हैव बूस्टेड कॉन्फिडेंस एंड आई हैव लर्न अबाउट माय मिस्टेक्स कि कहाँ कहाँ नहीं हुआ क्या क्या पढ़ना है तो अभी एनीथिंग विच यू वांट टू गिव मतलब फीडबैक टू योर सेल्फ लाइक आपने ऑलरेडी कुछ कुछ चीजें मैंशन की एनी जो मिस कर रहे हो लाइक पहले आई वॉन्ट यू कम्प्लीट योर पार्ट Yes, कि आपको क्या फीडबैक अंदर से लग रहा है कि क्या मैं इम्प्रूव कर सकती हूँ उसके बाद फिर मैं स्टार्ट करता हूँ बताइए कुछ अगर आपको लग रहा है कि यहाँ पर मैं और इम्प्रूव कर सकती थी या yes, इन चीजों पर थोड़ा सा देख सकती थी लाइक like, जैसे मैंने आईओटी का बोला सीएसएस वगैरह का बोला उन चीजों पे मुझे थोड़ा ध्यान देना चाहिए क्योंकि जस्ट राइटिंग देम इज नॉट इनफ बिकॉज इफ आई मेस इट अप देर उनको लगेगा कि आई एम लाइंग इन माई रेज्यूमे सर क्योंकि मैंने अभी इस इंटरव्यू से पहले सिर्फ उन स्किल्स पे फोकस किया अभी ऊप्स डी बी एम एस इन सब पे फोकस करा मैंने एंड आई जस्ट फो गॉट दिस पार्ट कि मैंने आई भी लिख रखा है और डेटा साइंस लिख रखा है तो फर्स्ट थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू फोकस ऑन दैट एंड सेकेंड थिंग ये जो मैं बीच बीच में पैनिक कर जाती हूँ ना आंसर बोलने में I I stutter in between, so I would like to improve that that too, sir. Because I tend to think that I might be giving the wrong answer, although I am right. So वो कॉन्फिडेंस ना है ठीक है देखो कुछ एक दो बातें मैं पहले बताता हूँ चार लेवल होते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपने सी प्लस प्लस लिखा अब मुझे ना चार शीट्स होंगी मेरे पास वन इज बेसिक शीट मतलब लेवल वन लेवल टू लेवल थ्री लेवल फोर ये मैं कैसे डिसाइड करूंगा फॉर अ फ्रेशर अगर उसने लिखा है कि हाँ मुझे सी प्लस प्लस आती है तो लेवल वन अगर उसने लिखा है मैंने सी प्लस प्लस में ट्रेनिंग कर रखी है सी प्लस प्लस आना एंड ट्रेनिंग करना इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग आना मतलब आपने खुद से सीखी है आपका इंटरेस्ट था जितना आपसे बना उतना आपने किया ट्रेनिंग की मीन इट्स अ प्रॉपर कोर्स जो आपने किया होगा राइट तो ये लेवल टू आ जाता है लेवल थ्री इज उसमें आपने सर्टिफिकेशन किया इट मीन्स ट्रेनिंग करने के बाद आपने कोई एग्जाम क्लियर किया होगा तभी तो सर्टिफिकेशन मिला ना एंड द लेवल फोर इज हमने उसमें इंटर्नशिप की यानी उसको प्रैक्टिकली इम्प्लीमेंट किया तो आप अगर सिर्फ ये लिखते मुझे आई आता है और फिर आप आंसर नहीं दे पाते इट्स ऑफ नो प्रॉब्लम कोई टेंशन नहीं बट आपने लिखा है सर्टिफिकेशन किया है वो भी एन से है ना अगर हमारे पास रेज्यूम में कुछ नहीं होता मेंशन करने के लिए और फिर हम उसको मेंशन करते हैं इट्स एब्सोल्युटली ओके यार भाई कुछ नहीं था लिखने के लिए बट यू ऑलरेडी हैव हेल लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स जो आपने ऑलरेडी लिख रखी है तो अगर आप इस चीज को मिस भी कर दो तो चलेगा तो अपकमिंग इंटरव्यूज में आई यू कैन मिस इट बट इफ यू आर राइटिंग इट मेक श्योर यू आर वेल प्रिपेयर फॉर इट बाकी मेरा रिकमेंडेशन है कि इसको हटा देना बिकॉज इतनी ज्यादा चीजें आप दिमाग में रखोगे ना तो उतना स्ट्रेस लेवल आपका बढ़ेगा यहाँ तो समवेयर यू नो मी Somewhere you know it's a mock interview, उसका कोई रिजल्ट नहीं होने वाला तो समवेयर नर्वसनेस कम है बट इन केस ऑफ एक्चुअल इंटरव्यू इट विल बी अलॉट मोर ठीक है उसके अलावा यू हैव टू मैंशन द फोटोग्राफ ऑफ योर्स इन द रेज्यू में वो कंपल्सरी होती है एंड जब आपके सी जी पी इतने अच्छे हैं कोई अच्छी चीज हम बार बार दिखा रहे हैं तो इससे अच्छी बात और क्या हो सकती है तो उसको पूरे सेमेस्टर वाइज डिस्प्ले कर दो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है 
आपने अगर मेरा प्लेसमेंट होगा मैं जाना रेज्यूम कोर्स में मेरा रेज्यूम में देखना आप ठीक है तो उसमें सेमेस्टर वाइज क्यों भाई बिकॉज इट्स माई अचीवमेंट मुझे ब्रैक करने का मौका मिल रहा है अपने बारे में अच्छा बताने का बार बार मौका मिल रहा है तो क्यों मैं यूज नहीं करूंगा है ना उसके अलावा जो आपने प्रोजेक्ट्स वगैरह लिखे हुए हैं उनको थोड़ा सा डिटेल में बताओ प्रोजेक्ट का आपने सिर्फ टाइटल लिख के छोड़ दिया उसमें आप ये बताओ इससे फर्क नहीं पड़ता कि समर ट्रेनिंग प्रोजेक्ट है या माइनर है या मेजर ये नहीं भी लिखोगे तो चलेगा दिस इज द प्रोजेक्ट द प्रोजेक्ट नेम द यूटिलिटी ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट अगेन आप रेज्यूम में कोर्स देखना उसमें दिख जाएगा मैंने कैसे प्रोजेक्ट मैंशन किया प्रोजेक्ट का नेम प्रोजेक्ट का यूटिलिटी क्या यूसेज है या क्या पर्पस है या क्या प्रॉब्लम हम बेसिकली सॉल्व कर रहे हैं इससे फिर टीम साइज क्या टूल्स टेक्नोलॉजीज यूज किए मेरा क्या रोल था इसमें इस तरीके से लिखो एक की जगह दो पेज का रेज्यूम में कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता कोई टेंशन नहीं इट्स एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन ठीक है उसके अलावा नीचे आपको ना ये लिखना है लाइक डिक्लेरेशन की आई डिक्लेयर दैट ऑल द डिटेल्स प्रोवाइडेड बाई मी आर करेक्ट एंड बेस्ट ऑफ माई नॉलेज और फिर सिग्नेचर अपना करना है और नाम डेट प्लेस लिखना है ठीक है दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द रेज्यूम है कमिंग टू इंटरव्यू वाला पार्ट सबसे पहले तो लॉन्ग टर्म गोल में कंपनी लाइक योर नहीं आएगा है ना बिकॉज भाई मैं आपको ट्रेनिंग दे हाँ आप दो साल बाद भले छोड़ दो चार साल बाद छोड़ दो लेकिन हमको यहाँ पे सत्यवादी नहीं बनना है कि भाई उनको यही है कि मैं दस साल बाद आप ही की कंपनी के साथ रहूंगी उसी में काम करूंगी उसी में मैं अपनी फर्दर पोजीशन देखूंगी कंपनी में क्या कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकती हूँ वो करूंगी दैट सेट है ना दूसरा एवरीथिंग वॉज फाइन आप टेक्निकली बहुत अच्छे हो एच वाइज बहुत अच्छे हो बट एक चीज जो हम मिस कर रहे हैं वो है पर्पस ऑफ इंटरव्यू अगर इंटरव्यू का पर्पस सिर्फ टेक्निकल स्किल चेक करना होता तो डोंट यू थिंक कि एक घंटे में लाखों बच्चों का एग्जाम लेकर के चेक हो जाता बट द पर्पस इज नॉट टेक्निकल इंटरव्यू आपके लिए अलग से कंपनी वाले 20 से 40 मिनट दे रहे हैं जस्ट फॉर वन सिंगल पर्सन तो पर्पस कुछ और है पर्पस टू सी यू एज अ पर्सनैलिटी आप कैसे हो बिकॉज जो टेक्नोलॉजीज आपने लिखी है डज नॉट मैटर कि यही आपको हम आगे इस पर वर्क करेंगे या मे बी आपको कुछ नई चीजें हम सिखाएं तो यस ऑब्वियसली इट प्लेज अ रोल कि भाई अगर आपने सी और पाइथन सीख लिया तो देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉसिबिलिटी कि आप जावा भी अच्छे से सीख लोगे है ना हाउ ऑनेस्ट यू आर ये सब चीजें लेकिन जो मुझे एक चीज मिस आउट कर रही थी ऑब्वियसली आपका सिलेक्शन अभी भी हो जाएगा बट इट्स ऑल अबाउट रिड्यूसिंग द रिस्क हम कितनी रिस्क रिड्यूस कर सकते हैं एक वो जील जो होनी चाहिए ना कि मुझे आपकी कंपनी ज्वाइन करना है That was missing. I was scared that Priya प्रिया इज अ गुड कैंडिडेट इसका और किसी कंपनी में हो जाएगा हमको छोड़ के चली जाएगी आपको विश्वास दिलाना ये आपका फर्ज है मैं प्रिया को इसलिए नहीं सिलेक्ट करूंगा कि उसकी स्किल्स कमजोर है मैं प्रिया को इसलिए नहीं सिलेक्ट करूंगा कि और कोई ना कोई कंपनी उसको सिलेक्ट कर ही लेगी और उसके अंदर ये जील नहीं दिखी थी कि मुझे तो भाई सिर्फ आपकी कंपनी में काम करना है ना तो ये बार बार कंपनी वाले सामने से नहीं पूछेंगे कि बेटा हमारी कंपनी में ही काम करना है क्या You buy your answers, buy your expression, buy your एच आर क्वेश्चन है ना जैसे मैंने आपसे पूछा कि आपकी वीकनेस क्या आप क्या कर रहे हो उस पर वर्क करने के लिए तो उसमें आप एड कर सकते थे ये पॉइंट कि सर कंपनी में भी देर माइट बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी कि जब मैं आपकी कंपनी में काम करूंगी तो मुझे ये इश्यूज आएंगे बट आई एम श्योर कि मैं इसको ओवरकम अभी करके आऊंगी है ना मतलब ट्रीट योर सेल्फ कि आप सिलेक्ट हो गए हो और इस तरीके से उस हक से बात करो इंटरव्यूअर फील्स गुड अबाउट इट ओके रेस्ट एवरीथिंग वाज फाइन कोई इशू नहीं है और बस सब बढ़िया है है ना एनीथिंग यू वांट टू आस्क कुछ पूछना है सर एक्चुअली इसमें स्क्रीन शेयर होती है हाँ हो जाती है है इसमें शेयर का बटन दिख रहा होगा देखो आपको नीचे माइक कैमरा स्पीकर के मोबाइल में तो so, ये वाला रेज्यूमे मैंने मतलब ऑफ कैंपस के लिए बनाया था तो इसमें मैंने हर चीज मेंशन करी लाइक एक्सपीरियंस में क्या करा था और प्रोजेक्ट्स में भी लिखा है दो तीन पॉइंट्स के किस पे वर्क करा मतलब किस से यूज करके इम्प्लीमेंट वगैरह करा और जब ये वाला जो मैंने आपको भेजा है रेज्यूमे वो वाला हमें कॉलेज के थ्रू बोला गया था कि इसी फॉर्मेट में आपको बनाना है अरे कॉलेज वाले बोलते हैं मेरे को भी बोला था मैं भी आप ही के कॉलेज से हूँ बट कंपनी को इन सब चीजों से फर्क नहीं पड़ता 
ठीक है बाकी सब बढ़िया है मैं मैं कभी कॉलेज में जो बोला मैंने फॉलो नहीं किया और ठीक है बाकी सब ठीक है आप इसको फॉलो करो मना नहीं कर रहा हूँ बाकी आपका जो लेटेस्ट रिज्यूम है मैंने जिस नंबर से कॉल किया था मुझे व्हाट्सएप कर देना उसमें तो इमीडिएटली तो नहीं बट एक दो दिन में जैसे मुझे समय मिलेगा मैं चेक करके आपको ऑडियो क्लिप में बता दूंगा अगर उसमें कोई इम्प्रूवमेंट लगेगा मुझे आपने जो जो बोला है वो सारा मैं करके आपको फिर भेजूंगी हाँ अभी इसकी आपको ना रिकॉर्डिंग मिल जाएगी विद इन टू टू थ्री डेज के अंदर अंदर ठीक है तो फिर एक बार रिकॉर्डिंग दोबारा देखना मैंने जो बोला है उस पार्ट को एडिट करके फिर मेरे को भेजना ओके से एक और चीज मैं आपसे पूछ सकती हूँ मतलब लाइक आपका नाइन आई टी कंपनी में हुआ था एंड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो कि अगर मेरा टी सी एस डिजिटल में इनकेस सिलेक्शन हो जाता है सर तो विच इज अ बेटर ऑप्शन एक्सेंचर और टी सी एस मतलब मेरा एक्सेंचर में ए एस ई में हुआ है सर फोर पॉइंट फाइव वाले में ऑब्वियसली अगर टीसीएस में डिजिटल में हो रहा है तो गो फॉर डिजिटल बिकॉज पॉइंट क्या होता है ना देखो पॉइंट इज नॉट पैकेज सात लाख का है पॉइंट क्या होता है आपसे थ्री पॉइंट फाइव पे होना तो आपका नेक्स्ट स्विच विल बी सेवन टू एट नॉर्मली एक्सेप्शनल केसेस में ऐसा हो जाता है कि यार हाँ भाई बारह पंद्रह का भी मिल गया वो उसकी बात नहीं कर रहा वो भी हो सकता है विच इज गुड अगर हो जाए पर नॉर्मल केस क्या होता है थ्री से आप सेवन एट पर स्विच करोगे और सेवन एट वाला है वो इलेवन ट्वेल्व पे जम्प करता है तो यहाँ पर पैकेज का बस रोल आ जाता है अगर हाँ निंजा मिलता है और एक्सेंचर मिलता है तो फिर तो एक्सेंचर से बेटर तो कोई ऑप्शन है ही नहीं है ना ठीक है चलो बहुत अच्छा इंटरव्यू हुआ लाइक अभी तक मैंने जितने भी इंटरव्यूज लिए हैं इट्स बीन मोर देन वन थाउजेंड इंटरव्यूज आई टेक नाउ तो अभी तो ऐसा है नींद में भी कोई पूछे तो हाँ ठीक है इंटरव्यू ले लूंगा मेरा ये सीन है तो आप देख भी रहे हो हालत ऐसी खराब पहले तो जब इंटरव्यू स्टार्ट करते थे तो पहले एक बाल वाल सेट करके सब बट अभी तो ऐसे दिन में पंद्रह पंद्रह इंटरव्यूज ले रहा हूँ तो ऐसा है कि नॉर्मल है बट आउट ऑफ ऑल द इंटरव्यूज विच आई हैव यू नो टेकन टिल नाउ आप इजिली टॉप फिफ्टी इंटरव्यू कैंडिडेट्स में आ जाते हो मेरे अकॉर्डिंग टू विच इज अ वेरी गुड बहुत अच्छा है बट डोंट टेक इट एज अ ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस जितना हम वर्क कर सकते हैं उतना हम वर्क करेंगे आप मेरे जितने भी मॉक इंटरव्यूज देखना मैं कभी भी किसी भी कैंडिडेट को पॉजिटिव फीडबैक नहीं देता यस मैंने सारे मॉक इंटरव्यूज कल बैठ के मतलब मेरा ट्वेंटी एथ को था पहले स्लॉट बट मैम ने जैसे बोला की फिफ्टीन को तो कल बैठ के मैंने वॉच करे मॉक इंटरव्यूज देखा आपने टाई लगाने के लिए बोला फॉर्मल ड्रेस होने के लिए बोला तो आई फॉलोड ऑल ऑफ दो थिंग्स करियर ऑब्जेक्टिव बोला था एड करने के लिए तो आई इवन फॉलोड दैट अच्छा मैं इसलिए तारीफ नहीं करता क्योंकि बच्चे ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट में आते हैं अरे सर ने बोला है कि आज तो हो ही जाएगा है ना कीप वर्किंग कीप प्रिपेयरिंग ओके चलो अच्छा एक चीज और छोटा सा जो सजेशन में दे सकता हूँ अगर थोड़ा सा आप एफर्ट बढ़ा सकते हो जावा मेंशन मत करना भले इसमें बट बेसिक्स ऑफ जावा पूछ लेते हैं कई बार क्यों क्योंकि यार कंपनी की नेटिव लैंग्वेज जावा है तो ऊप्स तो आपको आते हैं ये सी प्लस प्लस आपको आते हैं कुछ जावा स्पेसिफिक जो चीजें हैं वो पढ़ लो उनके इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस प्रिपेयर कर लो दैट विल बी इनफ ओके चलो सो गाइज दिस वॉज द एंड ऑफ मॉक इंटरव्यू मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ आपने बहुत सारी चीजें सीखी होंगी यदि आप भी अपना मॉक इंटरव्यू शेड्यूल कराना चाहते हैं तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में आपको लिंक दिख रही है मॉक इंटरव्यू बाय यस जिन सर जाकर के अपना मॉक इंटरव्यू जरूर से शेड्यूल कराएं ताकि मैं आपको बता पाऊं कि आपने इंटरव्यू में कैसा परफॉर्म किया और क्या क्या आपके अंदर स्कोप ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट है वीडियो को लाइक करें सब्सक्राइब करें दोस्तों में शेयर करें थैंक यू सो मच